we're in the middle of a war. And it's the war on cancer. My name is Richard Neris, and I live in San Diego, California. I'm Clyde Corrales. I'm a three-year cancer survivor from Austin, Texas. I'm from Tarrytown, New York. Out of Washington. New breast cancer survivor. Cape Elizabeth, Maine. New York, New York. I lost my wife to cancer. Anderson, South Carolina. Well, cancer survivor. We lose about 600,000 lives a year to cancer, and up to a third of them didn't need to die. I mean, we could have cured them with all that we know today, the, the information, the technology, the science, the therapy, uh, but they never had a chance. It's time for our leaders to stand up and make a serious difference. We think that we have an army of people that want to be engaged and, and want to make a difference. Today is Live Strong Day, a day where more than 10 million people around this country unite in the fight against cancer. Across the country today, we also have more than 230 events going on in communities to celebrate this notion of uniting in the fight against cancer. People all around the country are, are mobilizing and coming together in a grassroots effort. You guys want to help us make cancer a national priority? Now we have 200 cancer survivors here with us, just on the hill alone. All of us are here today to affirm our support for important legislation, the Cancer Screening Treatment and Survivorship Act of 2007 that is supported by a bipartisan group that stands behind me. Representative Jan Schakowsky of Illinois, Representative Sue Myrick of North Carolina, Senator Tom Harkin, and Representative Lois Capps of California. I'm at Live Strong Day to educate our legislators about what happens locally and nationally in the area of cancer care, research, and funding. A part of this legislation that has to do with screening is just simply common sense. It's catching something early, it's treating something early and it's avoiding a major problem later on in life economically, yeah. morally, ethically, it all makes sense. This is a pivotal time. I can walk, I can talk, I can be a voice. They said I was a big talker, so I'm here to do that. I'm from Cape Elizabeth, Maine, and I lost my mother to cancer. The experience that I had with my mom caused me to want to be an advocate for all cancer and all cancer survivors. We're ready. We're ready to start the fight. Ready to knock on doors. Make it a national priority. We are here for the long fight. This is an army. This army is, is here with us, but this army is in neighborhoods, in schools, in churches, in, in homes, and they are ready to fight. We have many other cancer organizations joining us, and we look forward to truly uniting not only the cancer community, but individuals, legislators, organizations, and corporations, because this is a battle that affects all of us. I think it's time to come together and, and, and refocus our efforts and make sure that the disease goes away. Join the fight. Join the Army. Pass this along to five friends and help me make cancer a national priority.